60 minutes overtime. When you made the decision that you wanted to try to come back to football, was Elizabeth okay with it? You know what? Um, it was something we've talked about throughout the process once I, you know, we, we kind of put it out there that as, a, as a goal. Um, I think it seemed so far off and, and potentially unattainable at that point. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think, I think her, like a lot of people, were tried to encourage me. Was anybody upset with your, with your attempt to try and play football again? Oh, I think there were a lot of people outside of the medical experts that, uh, yeah, didn't agree with it, didn't understand it. Um, why would I be doing this, you know, at my age and, and this point in life and everything I'd been through? Why wouldn't I just be uh, happy with where I was at and, and walk away? Elizabeth, it took you some time to come around to the idea of him going back out on the field. It took a lot of time. You know, early on, like he said, I was supportive. I realized that he needed something to work towards. As far as, you know, our lives 10 years from now, I want him to know that he is mentally, emotionally, and physically back to where he wants to be. And I know that football is his love, so why not let him pursue that, never thinking in a million years that we would actually be on that front doorstep and making that decision. So when the team of, the medical team of doctors cleared him, it was, it was a long, honest, weigh out your options conversation that I never thought we would have. But in the end, I realized that it was worth it to Alex and that I don't want, I never wanted him to have any regret. If the doctors cleared you to play, was it ever a question in your mind whether you would play? Oh yeah, I mean, that, there were two things, obviously the decision to finally follow through with that and, and pursue it. But when the doctors cleared me, that was really just from a medical standpoint. Right. You know, medically my leg was strong enough um, from, the, from the bones perspective to, to attempt this. There still was the huge unknown of what ability level I had to go do this at an elite level. Um, certainly I, progressed in my PT enough to like, yeah, I was doing things on field and throwing, but it was a whole nother question to be able to play NFL football, to play quarterback at the highest level again. But really that, that medical clearance just allowed me that, that opportunity to pursue that. Um, but that was still a huge unknown. That first big game in October. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're both smiling, but how nervous were you, Alex, walking out onto the field? Oh, I mean, I, I don't know if I've ever felt, you know, that range of emotions, um, butterflies, energy, you know, going out there, certainly some anxiety, um, probably way more than even my first start or playing time as a rookie, just because of all the unknowns and what we'd been through and the ramifications. From the moment we got to that game, I was a mess. I was an emotional mess. And you ran out of that tunnel and I lost it. I cried like a baby. <laughs> um, I looked at my kids and they're sitting there. It was an empty stadium. So it's just family and friends close. And I, I'm looking around and there's all these other wives, coaches, wives, players, wives, and a lot of people that have been there through all of it with us um, from, from the injury on who've been supportive. So it, it was this rush of emotion, but really just see, letting my kids be able to be there to watch their dad come out and know that everything that he's been through and here he is, back, back doing what he loves. So three plays in, he gets sacked. Part of it was a blur, but I remember when he took that first hit, I mean, you stand up, you're at the edge of your seat, and he gets right back up, and he has a huge smile on his face. I'm like, why are you smiling right now? Yeah. And it was like he knew, and I can tell he knew in that moment, I can do this. There was some pride in being able to take that hit. Yeah, oh, for sure. I, I don't know about pride. I mean, I, I think there's something that I think everybody, the physicality of football was something that everybody that plays it is a little bit drawn to it. There's a, it's a unique feeling getting tackled, you know, and it's something that I didn't know I'd ever be able to do again. And so, especially if I spent the last two years, like I said, I felt like, you know, tiptoeing around, walking on eggshells. I felt like I was so delicate and now all of a sudden, uh, not that long after, um, 
you know, getting tackled by some of the biggest, strongest guys and, and, uh, to know that I could take it, um, was it, you know, for me, a big step in the recovery process, both physically and mentally.